you have to understand the physical, the sort of the physics of surveillance, the distances at which they follow you, but you also have to, as I put in the, in the book, uh, you have to feel the street. You have to know when a street feels clean. When you don't have surveillance, it's what we used to call you're being, you're, you're, you're black, your status is black, there's no coverage, you can go ahead and go meet your, your foreign agent. To know the street, to feel the street, to feel the pulse of the street, to go by an intersection and know that there's no cars paralleling you. Um, it's science, but it's also voodoo, it's art. Um, you also have to, you have to establish a metaphysical connection to surveillance. Even these guys, even though they're, they're thugs and all they want to do is, is bury, bury the American intelligence officer, you can reach out and make connections with them. If, if you know you're coming out of a, of, of a building and they're turned away or they're not there, you can get in the car, drive away and lose them, but that's not doing them any good. That's not helping them. So you wait around a little bit. Sometimes you even clunk the door twice. You get their attention. You say, okay, you guys, I'm leaving. Let's go. Why do you want to do that? That's all part of feeling the street. It's all part of making a connection with your surveillance team.